Welcome to the morecalculators.com tutorial for the auto loan calculator. At morecalculators.com we have over 20 different free calculators to help you with buying a car, buying a home, renting a home, estimating your taxes, making a budget, calculating your income, and investing in real estate. We invite you to try our calculators today at morecalculators.com. To get to the auto loan calculator, go to our home page and then scroll until you see the auto loan calculator. Once you see it, go ahead and click on it. You'll see here, this is the auto loan calculator. It has three questions, monthly payments, interest rate per year, and finance amount. The first thing you need to do when you get to the auto loan calculator is decide if you'd like the computer to tell you monthly payments or finance amount. Once you have made that decision, check the box. For our first example, we're going to have the computer calculate finance amount for us. This is useful if you have a certain monthly budget that you can afford and you'd like to know how much car you can buy. So, for this example, we will say that I can afford $180 a month for a car. So we'll go ahead and put $180 in there. Then, we'll say our interest rate is going to be a little bit higher because our credit's not so good. So for the example, we'll say 10.95% interest. Once we've entered this information, click on Submit. You will see at the top that it tells you, congratulations, if you choose a five-year loan, you can finance a car worth $82.88. So basically what this calculator is trying to do is give you a reasonable five-year loan and then tell you what you can buy with that five-year loan. We also have a chart down here that tells you some common terms for a car loan, which would be four, five, and six years, or 48, 60, and 72 months. Most of the time, car loans are referred to by the number of payments or months that they're for. And then the chart tells you the total of the payments you're making, the total of that that's interest, and then the amount that you can borrow. So, for our five-year example, where we got the 8288, what that means is that we'll have five years or 60 payments of $180. The total amount we will pay is $10,800. Of that, $2,512 goes to interest, and the 8288 would be the principal, or what you can use to purchase the car. Now, we're going to do a second example. So we're going to hit the reset button, which will clear this out for us, and we're back to the auto loan calculator. Now, remember, the first thing we need to do is decide whether the computer will calculate monthly payments or the finance amount. Since we've already done the finance amount, this time we're going to have the computer calculate monthly payments for us. This is good if you want to know how much a certain car will cost you per month. So for our example, we're going to say I have better credit this time, and so we'll pay 7.5% interest. Now I've been looking for a Toyota Tacoma, and earlier today on the internet I saw that a 2009 Toyota Tacoma was going for 16825 So I'll go ahead and put that in here. And now I'm ready to see how much that will cost me per month. We'll click the submit button and the computer tells me congratulations if you choose a five year loan your monthly payment would be 337 Okay. Again, we're trying to keep the loan term reasonable and tell you what the payment would be if you chose the five-year loan. 
again, we have the chart that has our common car note terms, which would be 48, 60, 72 months, or four, five, and six years. It tells you the total amount you will pay. It tells you what the interest is for that as well. And then if you look down at the bottom of the chart, it tells you again the finance amount. Now the rest of this chart in both of the examples gives you one through eight years, which corresponds to 12 through 96 months. And then it charts it out for you and tells you what your monthly payment is and everything for that. So that is the auto loan calculator. Again, that's found at morecalculators.com. If you have any questions for us at morecalculators.com, just go to the morecalculators.com homepage and go to the morecalculators.com help center. And there you'll be able to ask a question or leave a comment for us. So thank you very much and have a great day.